Well, welcome back to I Serve Realness, where we are inspiring, servicing, and revolutionizing the way we think, what we feel, and what we overall believe about ourselves. So today's motivational talk is going to be based on maintaining your focus, staying on track. And I got four little tips that I think that could help. Okay, so tip number one is manifesting your future. That's right. Get you some vision. <laughs> See how you're living now and then close your eyes and picture yourself living the life that you always wanted. Whether it's how you look, how you're eating, where you're traveling, where you're working, your career, your relationship. See those things. See those things as a part of your future as though they are right now. That's all manifesting is. Is literally just envisioning what you want your future to look like. Get you some vision and manifest your future. Number two is respect yourself enough by providing consistency. Oh, I know it's so hard. It can be so hard. For me, procrastination on a lot of things comes naturally because I work so well under pressure. But oftentimes those thoughts that's, that's running through my head that I can't allow to you know, consume me is the fact that, oh, I'll get it done later. Oh, I won't do it at all. Oh, I don't have enough in me to get up out of me to do what it is I need to do. And then inconsistency happens. And inconsistency kills dreams, it kills goals. It just, oh, it's the murder of so many things. And so if you respect yourself enough and you do whatever it is that you need to do for you by providing yourself some consistency, I'm telling you, that's how you learn to stay on track. Number three, remember your power. Your power is your energy, is your source. My therapist often likes to affirm that the ball is in your court. She always goes, Tarina, the ball is in your court. And I struggle with it a lot of times when I tell her, like, I don't always feel like it's in my court because the reality of it is, is that we don't always get a chance to control or choose how people treat us or things that happen to us. But the ball is in your court. And when they say that, it's really just meaning like how you choose to respond. If you can just choose to take yourself out your feelings for when things that you do not like or that you don't deserve happen to you. Any circumstance where there's work, relationship, friends, family, whatever the case may be. Take yourself out of your feelings for that moment and remember your power and envision how you would like to see the outcome of that situation happening. You hold on to your power. You get a chance to change the narrative. And literally remember how you want your life to look. That's all that matters. And that's all it comes down to is remembering. Remembering your power. Ooh, child, number four is simple. Another simple but easier said than done. Don't give up. You cannot afford to get up, give up, not on yourself, not on maintaining your focus, not on staying on track. I think there's a saying that a lot of people say, like, be careful in which the way you act, because you never know. Sometimes you're the only Bible that people are reading and you never know who's watching you and who's needing you and who's being inspired by what has been planted within you to come up out of you to give to them. Remember, we're here to inspire, service, and revolutionize at the same time. Not just for us and how we think and how we believe. Of course, that's the number one goal, but it's also for others too. We have to have that testimony. And what's the testimony without the test, right? So do not give up. You are loved. You are valued. You are so much more than your thoughts. You have to program yourself to keep going. Maintain your focus. Stay on track. Manifest your life. Manifest your future. Remember your power. Respect yourself enough to provide consistency. And don't give up. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. And remember to live in light, love, peace. And thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for all my thoughts. I'm thankful for my life. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful for the gods, I'm thankful for the sun, the moon, for the planets, the universe, I'm grateful for my womb, I'm thankful for my
voice.